Welcome back guys to part 9 of my Platinum walkthrough. This is Word of Fate, we're going into Midgard and we're going to be doing a lot of collecting on this one. Pretty much going to collect 95% of everything in this area. So when we come back later at the end of the game for cleanup, we're only going to have to collect two things. Literally like two things. Well, that's a plan. That is the plan. But this is all in my text guys, so you can see exactly what we're doing. Uh, but along the way what I'm going to try and do is obviously I'll explain it all to you what we're collecting and I'll try and give you some explanations to why we're collecting it and just any other information around it that you might be good to know uh, but I'll also try and just show you on the map where we are so sometimes it can be a bit difficult on this to tell where you are uh, on the map uh, but I'll do my best I will show it just so you've got some sort of reference outside of the um, actual gameplay you can see the map as well uh, so once you begin, if you go over to your lost item chest, you should have got the Falcon's Dive Runic Summon inside it. Uh, that's just from the last mission, somebody dropped it and I didn't pick it up. And the Guardian Shield, that's story related, as you just see there, Brock comes and gives it to you. Uh, that's shield number 3 out of 5. And then for the first 5 minutes, there's pretty much nothing to collect. So the first five minutes, all you're doing, you're getting your um, means of travel, getting them ready, and then you're going to make your way to the main area, Lake of Nine. If you play the first game, it's very similar, it's just like it's all frozen over. So obviously they've changed the exploration a little bit because of that. So get your wolves, guys, get on your sleigh, and I'll meet you in Midgard. You should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard, how I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? Oh. From me, of course. Of course. Quiet. She is a friend. Now. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Mm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them, and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy? Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants. They herself had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet, who we would fight. All of it, as it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it burns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. No. Right, guys, are we ready? There are a few optional things I do here, just to um, get some better equipment to race our level. So I'm doing all this in an optimal way, so if you follow me, follow me doing this, you're going to save a lot of time. All right, so first of all, I'm going to come over here. There's going to be a little buried spot, and in here is some armor. Gauntness of Guiding Light. That's where it is on the map. This is optional, but I'm getting this just because it's level 5, I think it is. Level 5 or level 6? I think it's level 5, so it's going to bring our level up quite a lot, and obviously just make some of the battles much easier. And you can also read this room read, 
on this uh, bracer beside it. You don't need this, but this is a, just a very easy way to get some easy XP because you're in the area anyway, getting that easy armor. And then get back in and come over here. That gravestone there, make note of that, we'll be back here later. I'm gonna come here and climb up this wall. This is where we are. Yeah, we're gonna pick up this artifact. This artifact is number 14 of 38. Stolen treasure. Yeah, that one there. Get back on your sleigh. And then we're going to a familiar area. Or it might be, if you remember, where we came earlier as Atreus in a previous chapter. You know exactly where I mean in a second. Just come over here, slightly to the east. Park your sleigh. Come over here, lift the rock. Yes, yeah, a lot of like little sub-regions in, uh, in this realm that we're going to be going through. We're not getting everything remembered, just what is required for platinum. So come in this wreckage. You'll probably remember this one earlier, like I said, when we came through this Atreus. I think it's a uh, some like arm armor or something, or leg armor. Yeah, we're coming here, kill these enemies first. Yeah, battles are really difficult for me just because how low level I am because I've not been upgrading anything. If they, I think it's if it's a purple bar, it does actually say this in the tutorials. If it's purple, I think that means they're one level above you. I think red means two levels, or purple might purple might mean t two levels, and then red is above that. Uh, green means they're lower than you. I think yellow means equal, and orange orange might be one level. But it does say all this in the tutorials. If you go into the codex, you can see it in there. But the reason I've not been collecting anything, so like I say, because we're getting only platinum, and um, I've completed at this point, I have actually completed the game, and I've started optimizing the end game cleanup. And when we do Vanaheim, the crater, you actually get tons of materials. So if you could just hold on until then. You can have enough to upgrade loads of items and build yourself up then. You're just getting up to that point really, because that way you don't really have to waste any time collecting anything else if you just want to do the minimum requirements. Uh, so here guys, burn these brambles and then pick up the waste guard of guiding light. That's another piece of armor which will just raise your level and then read this lore beside it. That's part of the guiding light favor and like I say that's optional but we're doing it just because it's some nice easy XP because we're in the area getting that armor if you've already got a good armor which is that same level then don't bother um, equipping that one but if you haven't if you're under level 5 of your armor then yeah you want to equip that just because it bring your level up and make the battles a bit easier so we're heading into here now the oarsman the sub region so get rid of these enemies first because we need to climb out of this entrance. Yeah, that favour, Sigrun's curse, that leads us to a you don't actually have to do that curse of platinum, but you sort of you need to get to the end of that favour because it leads you to an item which is needed for platinum. So let's kill all these enemies. Uh, but I do end up just finishing that favour anyway because it gives you some nice easy XP and it's literally to finish it, it takes like an extra 10 seconds, if that. So once killed them all guys, climb up this wall behind the Norna chest. Don't worry about that, we're going to be doing the Norna chest very shortly. Climb up here, get rid of these enemies and then we can climb that chain. We've got this big horse like dude. My attacks are just bouncing off him. So um, I had to unleash the rage. Rage doesn't really do much damage in this. But yeah, I always try to do that. When your Rage is about to run out, use an L2 attack. Because that attack actually uses a lot of Rage. But if you use it when you've got a little tiny bit left, then it still works. But it doesn't consume as much Rage as it does normally. 
just because it's your very last attack. So yeah, it's, it's a good way to just get a massive attack in at the end. Wait till you've got a tiny, a tiny bit of rage left. And then use that L2 attack. Love a massive rock. I think I came to this point once without picking up that armor. And I was having a lot of trouble. Yeah, if you don't, if you get this far in the game, I think from about this part onwards on EC, it starts getting quite difficult if you've not been upgrading yourself at all, you know, other than your weapon upgrades, you know, your frozen flames and chaos flames. So you're going to climb this chain now. Now you've got rid of the enemies and you can interact with it. And over here, if you look to the left, you'll see a raven. Now it can be a bit tricky to see. If you want to make this easier, then just go down. There it is. It just pops up for a second, so it jumps from left to right. Yeah, and that's Raven number 11. Uh, but like I say, if it's a bit tricky for you to hit, go and pull the chain down below first, which we're about to do, and then go back up. So it makes it a bit easier, because it's a bit easier to hit him. We need to pull this anyway, because it access, allows us to access the other side of that little basement we were just in. Yeah, so it opens that stairwell. So you're going to go down here and loot this legendary chest on the right after killing the enemies. Inside there is the jewel for our amulet. So that we can equip another... Yeah, another amulet on it. Yes, yeah, so once you've got rid of him, loot the chest. This is needed for platinum, these jewels. You have to max upgrade your jewel. Uh, in order for trophy and then go underneath the steps and you'll find an artifact this number 15 or 38 stolen treasure ank once you've got that come around here and pick up the vault key half you need this as part of Sigrun's quest uh, Sigrun's curse favor you need two of these to gain access to his vault and we need to gain access to it in order to get that item like a set of platinum. Open the store afterwards. And now you should be able to access all the seals for the Norna chest. So you've got one there. There's that one over there. And then that one in the far corner. There you go. It might take you a few moments just to get the timing down. I always find the N the mid, the um, lowercase n symbol always seems to um, last for longer when you hit it. I don't know why. So it can be good to hit that first. But once you loot the Norna chest, I almost forgot this by the way. Yeah, come back up here and now you'll find there's a different room. And there's an artifact up here, number 16 of 38. For Zer's poems, the dead do not ride. Just do not forget this, very easy to forget this because you've already climbed up here and you don't realise that um, when you pull that massive chain it obviously it moves the boat across and just changes changes the layout slightly allows you to access that room but yeah that's all we're doing here guys, the oarsman I think there's a few things here that I didn't take but we've got all that we needed for platinum so now we're going to get back on our sleigh warm up the doggies Don't worry boys, daddy's back. And we're going straight over to that golden helmet, straight opposite. The dogs are ready, look they're already facing it. Sorry wolves. Guess that could be a bit of a um, insult I guess, calling a wolf a dog. Yeah inside this helmet there's a little dig spot. And inside here is a breastplate of guiding light. That's our last piece of optional armour which we're going to equip. And that should bring our level up quite a bit. That's where we are, and once you've got that, look at the room read on the side of the helmet. There you go. When mines, not wars. Tyr understood the greatest fight of them all was the battle for people's hearts. And I'm going to sprint in this little doorway opposite with all the icicles covering it. And you're going to block. Well, sorry, roll through it. 
You can try and block, he'll be there for a long time. Yeah, roll through it to break him. Get the stolen treasure from beneath, uh, behind it, the artifact, number 17 of 38. And they're coming to this doorway next, into this room. Yeah, this is the Raider Stronghold. You actually have to complete all four of these Raider camps throughout this region for a trophy. It leads to a trophy. Yeah, part of the Animal Instinct's favour. This is the first one. We'll be doing all of these. So all you got to do is just kill all the enemies until it says the Raider camp is cleared or something along those lines. Yeah, the enemies, they all like kamikaze when you've depleted their HP, so be careful. Yeah, this is optional, but I take this. It's a Cyclone of Chaos. It's a good light runic attack for Blades of Chaos, the Chaos Blade. Uh, blades, yeah. It's a good light runic attack for Chaos Blade. Um, because it... It's got a big area of effect and it can damage all enemies around you. So I just take that and equip it. Yeah, so that's the favor that begins once you've cleared out your first camp, Animal Instincts. And then we're going to head to the east and get our slay just here near these steps. Come up here and at the top is going to be an artifact, number 18 of 38. This is the only treasure, Kila. There we go, we found it. That is where we are. That little spot on the map. So we're going to get back in the sleigh now. And then we're going to head to the east. To the king's grave. We will be revisiting this spot a little bit later on in the game. Well no. A lot later on. I sometimes I forget how long this game is. When I've been through it already. Yeah. Very very long. And it's not because of the gameplay. It's because of all the story because of the way the, ch the story runs in this. It's a very narrative driven game. Even the gameplay is slow sometimes just because the narrative is slowing you down. Not very speed run friendly I think I'd say. Yeah this is a king's grave. Oh look a little surprise it's an ambush. I should know about this but it's actually been a while since I did this bit. But yeah kill all these enemies here. You have to anyway because you need to get this key item in the middle. And what this key item is going to do, which we get in a second, it's called the Inert Hilt of Skofnung or something. What that does, if you remember them gravestones, I mentioned one when we started exploring this area, this region. It lets you interact with them. And it takes you to like, it's like this game's equivalent of the Valkyries. In this they're called Berserkers because they can't go the same name, it's got to be something different. Yeah, they're called Berserkers in this one, uh, but they they are easier. They're still difficult if you're underleveled. I think I am for the good first few. They're still difficult if you're underleveled, but there's if you turn on checkpoint enabled, uh, mini, boss, mini boss checkpoints in the options, once you get a boss down to half HP, if you die, you will start that battle. You still have you have all your you have your resurrection stone back your HP, your rage, but the enemy will be at half HP. So yeah, boss fights are a lot easier. You've sort of only got to beat them in two stages. You know, all you got to worry about is getting them down to half HP, and then if you die it doesn't matter because they'll just be half HP again. Um, but that's if you want the easier way. If you want a harder difficulty, I'd imagine you turn that off because what's the point of playing in harder difficulty if you're going to turn on options like that, right? So yeah, in that case, I think, yeah, Harder difficulties, you are going to need to be, well I hope you have been collecting more than what I am, because you're going to have a lot of trouble otherwise. So um, once you get up here, Frey is going to make that wall disappear and realise it's a fake. There you go. While she's doing that, I'm just going to head over here. There's the Mystic Gateway, we'll be teleporting to that later. Then we'll kick down the shortcut grapple and get back on the sleigh. Yeah, where we got the... Um, that key item just from the inert 
what's the name, Inert Hilt of Skofner. Where we got that from, you have to come back to there once you've killed every other Berserker, and then you can summon the King Daddy Berserker, the Big Mummy, or the Queen Valkyrie. Yes, yeah, so that's the only thing we'll be coming back here for to do that. Uh, but once you've done that, guys, coming back down here, you're going to come all the way across here. Yep, then you're going to get out your sleigh, you're going to get that raven up on the corner there. This is where we are. Take a good look. I am in the mist. That doesn't really help. Yeah, weird map. Sometimes it takes a moment to reveal itself. But yeah, get that raven. That should be number number 12 of 48. There we go. 12 down, only 36 to go. Not too many. Right, another raider, raider hideout, guys. Time to whoop some ass. Yeah, so this is another one of the raider camps. This is this will be number 2 of 4. So yes, get rid of all these punks. Remember, they're all kamikaze. So once they get to 1% of HP, get the hell away. Yeah, more come out of this pit. Yeah, thanks, Mermer, on the left. Yeah, it can be quite useful at times, Mermer. Very, very few times. But we carry him around for his wise opinions, don't we? That's a lot of useful ideas. Look at that, I knocked him out of the way, I'm kind. That is all of them. So once you've got them all, yeah, I'm just grabbing the HP and the um, Rage Stones. There's a bomb dispenser here. What you need to do is, you see that, we're gonna get this Norna chest. So we wanna get that one over there. Your bomb won't reach the top, it will land at the bottom. So you've sort of got to chain them from the bottom up to the brazier to light it. And then you lob a bomb here, you lob a bomb at that ore to break it away. And then run over and lob a bomb at the brazier inside to light that one. And then we also loot this legendary chest. This will give you a heavy runic attack for Chaos Flames. Finally, the Blades of Chaos. Why am I calling them the Chaos Flames? That's the upgrade material. Yeah, the Blades of Chaos, We've, I finally got a heavy runic attack. So yeah, took that, Tartarus Rage. And then your third seal, guys, is behind here. Just light it. You probably have to chain your um, Hex arrows to light it. And then get that Norna chest. Norna chest number eight of 30. Horn of Bloodmead. Right, we've done all we need to do in this hideout. Now we've made it deserted. Head back to the sleigh and uh, we can head to the south. We're slowly making our way to the southwest. That's where the story takes you. And we're basically just grabbing collectibles along the way. So just underneath this bridge, there's gonna be an artifact. This will be artifact number 19 of 38, stolen treasure, Maya. Don't you go anywhere, wolves. I see him trying to run off. Yeah, she's a pretty looking girl. Yeah, Maya. Like I say, 19 of 38. That's where we are under the bridge. Get back on your sleigh afterwards and start going south. We want to make our way to the southeast corner now. And what we're about to get is optional. No. The well of earth, their home is hard to we're going to come here and we're going to get his amulet. Jotunheim's honor. Oh, sorry. No, no. I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm getting ahead of myself. Jotunheim's essence. Sorry. You get his amulet here. You get whispering slab as well. That's for completing it. For getting all the dig spots, I think. And um, reference to this quest. Yeah, that's the amulet we just got. And then read this room, read. 
and that will complete it guys, that favour, get you some nice easy XP. We're going there anyway to get the items, we may as well have read them, we've got a bit of an XP for it. And we're just going to carry on down the slope a little bit and then depart your sleigh here and then come to this hill and we're going to kill this little mini boss. I kill this mini boss because he drops, he drops uh, Jotunheim's honour. That's why I kill him. Yeah, he kills. He drops another amulet, which will be equipping soon. He's not too difficult. I mean, he's purple, so um, he's a good few levels above me. But yeah, he's going down pretty easily. These guys are pretty gruesome in the first game, but by the time you get to Ragnarok, they're nothing. Like child's play. And just like that, he's toast. Did he hit me? No, he must have hit me. There you go, yeah. Kratos, he loves killing enemies with their own weapons, don't he? He's got some sort of fetish. Yeah, that's all the goodies they drop. Pick him up. And then just continue on. Don't go back. Just continue on along the path. Because uh, it's taking us to the next area. And the wolf will be here waiting. Yeah, that's the ammo that I just got. And that is where we are. As I was saying, the Norn's home is called the Well of Earth. Yeah, once you get down here, you'll see this little hole in the ice. This ice is just on the side of Tyr's temple. And you'll find a raven just inside it, guys. That's number 13 of 48. I try and show you the map. Yeah, that's where we are. 13 of 48. And then just south from there, you'll see two holes in this ice on this wall. Climb into the hole on the left, because it leads you into the third raider camp. Known as the raider keep. Yeah, just squeeze through this gap. Kill all the enemies. Apart from killing all these dweebs around here, there's nothing else of importance in this area. Yeah, this camp is pretty bad. They've got nothing of importance. They're pretty lazy, they don't do any exploring. Yeah, they're not even attacking, just looking at me. I bet I just woke them all up, they don't know what's going on. Right. I was going to say, is there anyone else? There is. Is there no one else? Right, it's this punk. You were the last man standing, mate. You did die pretty quick, but... Yeah, die with that last thought in your head. You were the last man standing. That's got to mean something. Maybe we're just saving the easiest till last. Or because he's hiding in the corner, that's why. Yep, yeah, that's where we are. So just done that keep and we're heading all the way over here now, guys. The derelict outpost. So we're actually avoiding that slope on the left. Avoid that slope on the left. We're gonna come back there later. If you go down there now, it means there's gonna be something you need to complete that bit down there. And if you do it before where we're going now, it means you've got to come back. So we do this bit first. And then when we go down there later, we can do it all at once. You know that vault key half? Basically we need the other half for that to open the vault. And then we can access it. But we'll come to this place first, derelict outpost guys. And once you land, once you get off the sleigh and uh, jump over that stone, turn left and you'll find that raven in that boat wreckage above your head. That's raven 14 of 48. And then come over here. This is where the story takes you anyway. The Norns are hiding something. And um, interact with the prompt once Freya 
gives it to you. That's it, that should have advanced the story. Now we're going to come over here, kill these enemies. There's a missing gateway here. When we leave this bit later, let's go back to that place we just passed earlier. You could actually use the Mystic Gateway to warp there. Uh, but I don't think any is really faster, so I just get on my sleigh. If you go to the Mystic Gateway, you just get stuck with loads of dialogue before the warp point triggers, you know, before it appears. So, um, yeah, I just decided to get back on the sleigh. few enemies here. Ah, but I finally got them. You have to climb this chain afterwards. Sindri's shop is at the top here. And you can upgrade your amulet, uh, sorry, upgrade your jewel if you want. Well, your uh, amulet, I think it is. Yeah, I'm just unhighlighting everything that's um, got an uh, exclamation mark beside it. Yeah, so you can upgrade your amulet now, guys, with that jewel we got earlier. There you go, you can put an extra amulet on it now. Anything for Freya? Have we more to and while you're at the shop, you might want to buy a better resurrection stone. Just so you've got it ready for the Berserker boss later. I've just got a simple one. You might want to buy the superior one. Uh, but once you're ready, come through here, grapple across. Swing that grapple point around to you. Take out the um, ice spawn at her head. Yeah, the sort of little um, relic thing here that spawns the eye enemies. Once you've done that, come over here and swing this grapple point across. And on the top of this post is a raven, you see it? Just perched up there. That's raven number 15 of 48. The map is better than the first game, though. Yes, it's actually better than the first game. It's actually more detailed compared to the first one. First one, it, it didn't really give you any. It didn't really show you the paths, just showed you like a, a round outline of the area, if you remember. Some something like that. But here, you actually got it shows the path a little bit. So once you get across here, you got to kill these enemies uh, because we need to drop down. I'm sure you know what to do with um, the health bar. It's got like that armor on it. If it's blue, you have to use your axe. Uh, sorry, if it's blue, you have to use your blades. If it's red, you use your axe. And if it's grey, you have to use your spear. That'll be later. Yes, yeah, so you drop down here after in the corner because there's an artifact. This artifact number 20 of 38, stolen treasure. Look at that, I meant to do that. The, the other one exploded into his mate and killed him. Took him with me. If I'm dying, you're gonna die with me. Cause you didn't help. Yep, yeah, I think that's what he meant to do. So now what we're doing, we're gonna jump over here. She's gonna basically follow the path now. So defeat these two eyeballs. Kill this punk. Break the icicles and drop down on the right. Because we need to um, bring swing the grapple point around so you can grapple across. You have to bring it down. And you have to hit it with your axe. 
Yeah, don't hit it left. It doesn't work. There you go. Once you've swung it around, raise it back up. Climb up and then swing across. Yee wee. And the grapple up here. There's a legendary chest here. I loot this because it's got heavy runic attack. And a whispering slap times 30. Yeah, I think that's a heavy runic attack for the axe. So I've finally got a heavy runic attack for the axe now. And here is the other half to the vault key, guys. For Sigrun's Curse. Make sure you pick this up. You need this just to get a lost page. There's four lost pages. They're actually count as lore. Uh, but you need them because they make they basically make recipes appear for hilts in the shop so you have to get these four pieces of lore, I think it's the only four that you need uh, just so you can craft four different hilts because you need, there's a trophy for all relics and um, of course the hilts are basically relics so these enemies you can actually avoid these uh, just once you've got a bulk key you can just print back to where the shop was and what we're doing now is we're going to that first that area we passed uh, just before we got to this sub-region the lost treasury yeah you could either use the mystic gateway if that gateway is unlocked or just come back on foot or pause come back on paw like I'm doing here Yeah, the Mystic Gateway is actually unlocked. Uh, but I'm going to show you some as well along the way. So, when we come back here later, we've got to come back for a flower to do that Berserker final boss and also to get a, a relic. The flower and the final bo uh, final Berserker boss will be at the end. But when we we actually come back in this area along the, nearer the end of the story. And see that spot on the right there? You see that wall that's glowing? Later on, we're going to come back and we're going to lob our spear in that wall and that's going to get us a relic. But we're actually going to do that as part of the story when we come back. So the only backtracking we do in this region is um, to do that final boss and get a flower. But it's actually warp points right beside them anyway, so nice and easy. So this is Lost Treasury. This is the last sub-region we're going to be doing before we crack on the story, guys. When we get to story area, which is in the north-west of the map, there are a few collectibles there. Uh, but they're a long story route anyway. Yeah, it's going to get rid of all these enemies, and then there's like a little puzzle here. Oh, and we've got yeah, we've got to kill a berserker boss yet. That's going to be not long after this sub region. So once you've killed them all, you need to pull that um, shield. Yeah, this is like the giant's shield. Rotate it across, and then climb up it. Yeah, then once you get up, you see that pillar over there, you need to knock it down by um, detonating that bomb. There you go, once you knocked it down, you need to jump back down. And then you need to move the shield back over to the left. Yeah, a little puzzle. Took me a while to work out how to do this one, actually. We're doing it in an optimal way, anyway. So once you get up here, kill the enemies first. You know if you've killed him because you'll get the XP indication uh, that you've been rewarded it. I didn't, I thought I killed him here, don't know why. Uh, but you want to make sure you light that brazier at the top there. You can't quite reach it with your, with your blades, then uh, use a hex arrow. Yeah, it won't let me interact with that um, that pillar. So I know there's another enemy somewhere. But I can't see him. And there he is. Because Kratos is too small. I couldn't see over the ledge. Yeah, so um, once you can, you come over here and you grab this pillar. There it is. Move it to the left. There you go, and that's going to block the shield. Just make sure you've got that... Um, that brace you up there as well guys for the Norna chest. 
Yeah, that one's just there. Make sure you get that one as well before you move the shield back across. So that's two braziers we've lit so far. And then what you want to do is um, move the shield over to the right. It'll get stuck on that pillar. And now you can actually access both the um, cogs on the left and right. And what you need to do, you need to um, fully open the gate. You see that gate behind the shield? Then you need to fire an hex arrow at one of the cogs. Lobby axe. And because of the hex arrow, that should stay frozen when you call your axe back. And then throw your axe at the other one. Try to hit it. That always helps. There you go. And then go through the gate. Come in. And shoot that chain. So that um, Freya can come in with you. Then once you're near, you can loot this legendary chest. We get that whetstone. That's what upgrade in um, Freya's weapon, I think. Uh, sigil punishment accessory. I think that's for Freya as well. They're optional, but I loot it anyway. And then light the third brazier there, guys. Now you can loot the Norna chest. But what we'll do, we'll loot the Norna chest on the way out. So this door we're opening now, you can only open this door if you have both of the vault keys. Yeah, them two vault keys we've picked up, they're used on that door. Once you're in here, kill this enemy, the Traveller. You know, I hope I don't forget this Norna chest. So I'm a bit worried now. I'm thinking, why didn't I loot it already? I mean, it's more optimal to do it when we go back outside anyway. But I'm just a bit worried in case I forgot. Yeah, so once you've got these enemies, you want to climb up that chain. Yeah, climb up the chain. And they can bash down into the floor at the bottom. And that's where the lost pages. Considering this is the vault, there's not really many useful items inside. Yeah, bash down there, guys. And get the lost page. Yeah, you need this. Like I say, this is one of four. This one actually makes the hilt of Riddle recipe available in the shops for you to craft. Yeah, it also makes the Lost Pages favour trigger. That will become active. And then once you climb back out, interact with this lore marker. And this will complete the Sigrun's Curse quest and get you a lot of XP. And on the way out, get the Northern Chest. Oh, I didn't forget. Yeah, that will be an Iden Apple. Yep, and then once you've got all them guys, that's all we need to do there. We're going to head to the northeast now. Sorry, not northeast, northwest. Almost, almost got mixed up. Yeah, northwest. We're going to the last raider camp now. You have to do these raider camps because they lead you to a boss which has a rare material you need to um, craft a relic later. And also because it pops a trophy. So that's where we are. This is the last raider camp. Four of four. Yellow Raider Fort. So you kill all the enemies, and then once you kill them all, a boss is going to drop in. Olaf. And then once you kill him, he actually drops one of the rare materials you need to craft one of the, one of the relics. The name is Crackle of Beskilna. Yeah, he drops Crackle of Beskilna. Amongst a few other things. But well, that's the important one because it's the only one. I think it's the only one in the game. Yeah, it's only one crackle. We've got mini boss checkpoints on. If you die to this boss, as long as you get his health below half, when you respawn, he'll only have half of his this um, HP bar make him a lot easier Great 
Right, is there no one else? Oh, it's Olaf. Yeah, here he is. Yeah, that hurt. I don't know what I'm standing there for. Yes, them, them uh, environmental objects, they did quite a lot of damage actually. So if you, if you know there's going to be a tough enemy coming, you want to try and save them for a tough, tough enemy. Yeah, so I'm just, I always try to chain my runic attacks first. And then um, I'm always spamming Freya's arrows at the same time. And got him. You went down easy enough. There you go, yep, yeah, of course, kill him with his own weapon. Pick up the goodies that he dropped. Like I say, Crackle off Beskilner is the important one you're looking for. Uh, but once you killed him, I think he actually spawns whichever camp you complete last, he will spawn at that camp. So he spawned there on me, but I think if I did another one last, he would have spawned there. So I think it depends what you do last. But follow me, it should all work out the same. But once you get back to your wolfies, you'll come and give him a little stroke, give him a TLC, there you go. Have some biscuits, boy, here you go. Want a Scooby snack? Oh, there you go, crack off Biscuit on No, I'm not giving you that, I need it. There you go, once you, once you give him a good pat down. Yeah, you can go back to acting tough. And then uh, once you get back on your sleigh, that'll pop the trophy, guys. The besties. Kra uh, Kratos' first two friends. Ever. It's the start of something. We have four friends by the end of the game. Yeah, so now we're going to this gravestone. Okay, so this is the first Berserker boss. And like I say, this is the equivalent of the Valkyries in this game. And they can be difficult. But I think they're a lot easier than God of War 2018. Just because you can get a mid-halfway checkpoint. Just make sure, if you're finding it difficult, either you can leave this till later if you want. You can come back later. I'm just doing it now to save time. If you want to backtrack here later, you can when you're more powerful. Uh, but killing them now, it will you know will save a bit of time, but it also gets you some good items from them. You can see when I kill them, what items I get. You start a favor fit for a king. But you can also turn on something else in the options. You can turn it on so when you evade, you've got a bigger window of invincibility. Yeah, so it's actually next to the option for the mini boss checkpoints. There's another option for him. Um, uh, I can't remember the name of it. It's just it's an option which makes your evade more effective basically so probably more invincibility frames but yeah make sure you got them two on if you find this difficult and yeah just keep attacking him guys he's not too bad yeah uh, what I would say is what I found with all the berserkers I've faced so far sometimes if you dodge to the left or to the right some attacks will still hit you but most time if you dodge back yeah, if you dodge back, um, it, it's more it, it's more chance for you dodging them. I think, obviously, if it's like a, a, a thrusting move, then if you dodge back, it's likely going to hit you. Uh, and obviously, you want to dodge sideways for them. But I just find, with the moves they do, you have more chance to dodge it if you dodge back than what you have dodging from left to right. And of course, depending on the moves, sometimes you have to dodge a certain way anyway. But when he launches into the air, I found that to be the most difficult to dodge. When he launches into the air, and he'll, he'll just throw it in the air for a few seconds, and then he'll like shoot down to you. He'll do like a he'll do like a sweeping move. That one you want to dodge back. That's one I normally find difficult to dodge. Always dodge back, and he'll always miss you. If you dodge to left or right when he does that, he's gonna hit you. This one, dodge back. Always dodge back flat, and he should miss you. And obviously. You need to get timing kind of right, I guess, as well. Um, but yeah, I've just about got him. What you want to do, when you first start a fight, use all your runic attacks. Wait until you, you've got low HP, and then use your rage. And then use that to heal up, of course, and uh, use your strong attack, your strong rage attack, when you've only got a little bit left to get a bit of extra damage. And then you can use your 
Resurrection Stone if you need to, and that will give you a bit more rage as well. Um, but yeah, there are all the items she drops. A lot of goodies. Tempered Remnants times 2. Bonded Leather times 25. Shatteroon times 25. And Berserker Waste Guide. And that's everything looted, pretty much. Like I say, all we've got left is that flower, um, the relic, and doing the final Berserker boss at the end. But yeah, that's Midgard, pretty much 95% done in regards to trophies. If you look on the overview, map overview, it will show a much lower percent. It looked like you've not hardly done it. You look on the map. Hopefully, I'll check in a second. Yeah, that's a little tutorial it gives you. Yeah, but I just want to um, highlight all them exclamation marks to um, make them disappear. I was saying, tales of time travel always strain credulity. There's a shop if you need to head in there. Yeah, so head into the northwest part of the map now, and this is where the story takes you. So that's all we've done exploration-wise. There is an ornament chest you'll pass, but I leave this until we come back down, so we have to come back down this way. Yeah, and to um and to unlock it you have to climb up here anyway and then come back down to access it. So it's just better to do it when you come back later. But I do get the raven now. There's also a part I think it's a part for the shield. But I get that on the way back down as well. All I get now is a raven. So yeah, chop down this wood, blocking this gap between the wall, and then squeeze on through. Come here, kill the enemies. And then once you kill these, Freya should finally find the correct secret entrance. You got a big rock there if you want to use it. Yeah, just make your way to the top of this mountain. Yeah, you might see it there. Did you just see that hole in the wall? There's a legendary chest in there. That's one which we're going to get on the way back down later. So don't worry, we will get it. Yeah, can you hear the raven? Cooing away. There you go, just had to um, use my gift of strength. And I'm going to give that strength to the enemies. There you go, just for you, mate. Look at these two just waiting for me. Oh, I've got to give it to these two. These, these They believe in a good fight, don't they? A fair fight. One on one. They're waiting for um, me and the other guy to uh, finish our battle. Patient. Yeah, they have honour. Yes, yeah, so you got this raven just over here to the east. There you go. That's raven number 16 of 48. And that is kind of it, guys, at the moment. In terms of collectibles. You can make your way through here and uh, we will soon reach a boss. Uh, so what I do, I just let you watch this gameplay, guys, until we get to the boss. And then I'll come back for the boss just to let you know um, how to do it and stuff. It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. Kratos. Ghost of Sparta. Bane of Olympus.
Are we in our own minds yet? He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. <laughs> This place almost looks familiar, but different, like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Player of the venue, master of magic, queen of the Valkyries, witch of the woods, frig of Asgard. Destroyer of all she would hope to protect. <laughs> she always finds somebody to blame. One small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Lemire. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. Yeah, once you reach here, this is where the boss spawns. I think what this is, is the first time we've encountered this type of boss. Frost Phantom. Yeah, so you need to hit the, hit the runic head with your axe. Uh, if you use your thrown hex arrow, you should do a bit more damage. Uh, but once you've staggered it, you have to quickly smash them sort of relics around the area, these runes. There's three. If you're quick, you can get... I was going to say you can get two, but um, it seems you can't. Yeah, this one you only have to destroy two, but later on, there's normally be, there'll normally be some phantoms that you need. You have to destroy four or six. I'm sure, I'm sure I've done both at once before. But yeah, you just got to keep basically staggering him. And once you staggered, that's when you can attack the runes. You can't attack them before. And then once you break both the runes, you should be able to hit him one more time and then you can grab him and finish him off. Just squash him into the palm of your hand. Yeah, drop some goodies. Yeah, he drops a jewel, and he also drops a chaos flame. There, there you go, guys. Another jewel. That's jewel number two of seven. We got chaos flames, of course, as well. Two upgraded blades of chaos, and some upgrade materials. So it's moving on a bit more, and there's going to be some cutscenes in a second. Uh, but it's one cutscene. You're like in a misty area, and these enemies will just keep rushing you. You just got to keep attacking the enemies. I don't know if you've got to kill every single enemy, but I think the amount you kill, I think you just get a little bit more XP at the end. Uh, but I did try just standing still once, and um, you do actually get killed. You do actually have to kill some of the enemies to progress. Um, but then after that, you'll go to the uh, Well of Turd, and you'll get a swimming horse, a horse that can swim. And that leads you into another cutscene. And then after that, we'll be leaving the mountain, guys, and we'll get a few more collectibles on the way. And then go to Sindri's house and then finish the mission. So yeah, let's get through this next bit guys, the next few cutscenes. And um, I'll come back when we're making our way back down the mountain. Stop. Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here. Wait! Baldur, come back! Talk to me! What 
the test didn't feel much like succeeding i see the door has disappeared or it was never there they toy with us still what is that a kelpie don't see many of those in these parts she must be theirs will she take us to them i'll ask her nicely easy girl easy that's right Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a clue. You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, 
We've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. <laughs> Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel. So it's about done guys, just making our way back down the mountain now. But first of all, when you get to this point, drop down off that ledge and then bash through this wall. You don't need this item, but it's going to just level you up a little bit. It's the Rond of Purification. It's an attachment for the shield. And um, as you can see, it's level 5. So it's just going to take our level up a little bit. And you can grapple back across and then you go down the zip line. Yep, I couldn't quite remember where the braziers were for the Norna chest at this point. And then it clicked that they were, they were down the zip line. Because you're way too far away. Yeah, you'll know that um, seals for Norna chests are normally pretty close to it. Yes, yeah, so we've actually completed the Word of Fate. Yes, let's one, one of the seals to light. Light that and then drop down here. And you should see another seal, that one, number two, and then drop down, the last seal is at the bottom. There you go. Gets okay, Norna chest, this is number 10 of 30, and this should be a horn of blood meat. Now what we've got to do now is um, go back to the nearest gateway. Yeah, and what we're going to be doing, we're going to be um, travelling to Sindri's house. You can interact with a shop if you want to um, upgrade with that Chaos Flame which we've got and the um, Jewel. But I actually do I actually do it a bit later, I think I do it after the cutscene. Uh, but once we get back to Sindri's, we want to get a quest from Ratatosk, you know the little squirrel guy. He gives you a trap which allows you to um, capture these Lindwims, these like little animals. Not even little animals, some sort of reptiles. Uh, from them, you know the rifts. If you if you remember the first game, yeah, there's there's actually more rifts than what you need. But it's a specific six rifts that have these reptiles inside them, these lindwims, which we have to get. It's a, a specific six, so you don't actually have to loot any more of the little portals. Just these six. So as we go through the game. I'm just going to be showing you where the six are because we actually need to do this favour which we'll be getting in a second for Platinum because there's a trophy connected to it. The favour is called Lost Lindwimps. But when you talk to Squirrel he actually gives you the trap. Without the trap you won't be able to catch him so we're going to get it now so we've got it ready. Yeah just come and talk to him. He only wants a moment of your time. Yeah, you can skip the line if you keep pressing X. No, I forgot. Yeah. I'm spamming the wrong button, pressing L2 there. Yeah, I, I could have pressed X to skip this. Yeah, so um, after he's gave you the favour, make sure you pick up the trap. He'll put it just on that little um, ledge below him. And we'll, uh, we'll actually be capturing them throughout the guide. It's not like we're going to get all six in one video. It's going to be throughout the guide. Well, I think we get three during the story, and the other three we do at the end. Or it might be two during the story. There you go. Just make sure you pick up the trap. There you go. Linda Wim trap. And then come in here, guys. And gonna have a long cutscene in a second. Just come over here. You can loot lost item chests while you're waiting. And then after this brief bit of dialogue, interact with the bench again. And that will trigger a long cutscene, guys. I'll come back just after the cutscene. Um, just let you know what's going on after this. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. 
You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need him. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Drop near. So what are you on about, brother? Yes, yeah, so all I do now after the cutscene, now I upgrade all my gear. So I'm going to use a Chaos Flame to upgrade the Blades of Chaos to level 4. Um, yeah, and everything else, I'm just sort of unhighlighting everything. You can upgrade the Thurungava from that um, whetstone we got earlier. And you should be able to upgrade your amulet with that jewel we got, if you haven't already. There you go. Now I can slot another amulet onto it. And yeah, that's that relic. Like I said, when we've got that lost page, that's that specific lost page, that's what you can craft with it. The hilt of riddle. But it might depend on the order you collect them in. Because a lot of stuff in this game, it depends on the order. Like the first, say there's like five different ones you can get. The first one will always contain this. The second one will always contain that. Yeah, there's a few, I mean, especially in Vanheim. There's a part in Vanheim later where there's... There's these three sort of uh, travellers, and the second one will always drop this hilt that we need. But it doesn't matter what order you fight them, it's always the second one which drops it. And but all we're doing now, guys, we're heading into Vartalfheim. And that's where the next chapter should begin. Forging Destiny. Yeah, that's it guys for that part. So yeah, we had a lot more to collect there. A lot more intensive. What was all that? Um, but going forward, there's actually only one more region, uh, one more realm, which we sort of do a lot of exploration in it throughout the story. We're obviously collecting everything as we go along the way, and that is going to save a bit of time in itself, you know, just clearing out areas which we are passing through. Because backtracking at the end of the game can take a long time because... You know, just moving between areas can take a while. Uh, you know, unless it's like a big open area. So yeah, that is actually saving time. But yeah, there's one more area uh, where we actually drive, uh, not a drive, a uh, sail around and actually explore areas which we're not actually passing through. Uh, just because at that moment in time, uh, we can actually explore a lot. And uh, save time backtracking later. Um, but yeah, this is it, guys. Where forging destiny begins. Yep. So I'll leave it there for that video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I see you on the next one.